So as you can see, I have quite a big box here. This has a lot of NCT stuff in here because I did want to add some stuff to my Jungwoo and Jimin collection. Mainly Jungwoo just because of the comeback and I was kind of like motivated to add stuff to his collection. So this is my one out of two packages that I'm going to be opening up. And I did get this from Neo Q and I'm doing a separate video just because it's from Neo Q and I can kind of talk about it a bit more. I was sitting waiting for this to get delivered and I think the mailman didn't even like ring the bell. I checked the tracking and it said it was delivered so I was like what is this because I was like where is he? Did he deliver this to like the wrong address? Turns out that wasn't the case. I opened the door and he left the package outside and I'm guessing that's what they're having to do now but like I a chat would have been nice so I like at least knew it was there so I was checking the tracking and then that's how I found it was actually at my door. I also got something else from Amazon which were my sleeves so yeah I have like a package of sleeves finally so I can sleeve some of my stuff but I kind of talk about like my experience with Neo Q like after the second package which I've already opened up. This one was the one I had pre custom fees on, sadly. Not too much, I was expecting it to be a bit more, but £39 is like the cap. If the, the value of the package is above £39, I explained this earlier, but I'm correcting myself now. It's actually thir like 39 because I thought it was 35 My only like bad thing about this is how long it took to ship out. So if we look at the tracking, it was dispatched to the UK on 6th of March and I bought the quickest shipping so it was two to five days it was supposed to arrive to me and today's the 20th. I can understand how long it took for it to like it arrived in the UK on the 9th and uh, basically it was just the customs that was taking forever and for the second package I got the same shipping let me just go look this up. So this one didn't have any custom fees on it and that was shipped out on the 12th and I got that on the 19th. That was still a bit long but I know kind of the process might be a bit delayed because of the virus but Apart from that, I don't really mind, it was just knowing how long this stayed in customs for, especially it being from Japan, they might have like held it for a few more days, but I wasn't too mad because every time I try out a proxy site, I always end up getting fees. But yeah, I talk about the, like, my, like, opinion on um, Neo Q, like, at the end when I opened the second package up. I just got that one quicker because it was delivered to my neighbours and it was delivered yesterday. So I was able to get it from my neighbours this morning and I had to wait for this one in the afternoon. But how did I get pen all over me? Oh my god. Um, so this is going to be all NCT stuff. Um. Ah, this is exciting. Because there's an album in here. So I didn't actually get this um, when I opened up the first package. The second one you are going to watch. But I opened that one up second because I did buy this. Um, this does get shipped out before the second one. So I thought it made sense just to go through it in order of what I've ordered. So yeah, thank you your team, it's thankful towards the trust you put in Neo Q. Hopefully I'm saying that right, I've been saying it in Neo Q for the whole time. And it says, we sincerely hope that the service met your expectations. Feel free to share your feedback on our social network profiles or trust pilot page. And it says, share your unboxing and try to win a gift box. So I had no connections with Neo Q. I just heard about it and I thought I might as well try it out. Since I did have a few like an eye on a few things on um Macari, I did want to get some stuff. And the fees that you get with Neo Q are really cheap compared to others. So I was like let's test this out. Here we go. Oh my gosh. There's gonna be so much there's so much boy groups. I did have a look at other things just because I was like on a spending spree on Macari, like literally no coins anymore with all these comebacks as well but I was looking for like red velvet stuff but I didn't find anything I needed for red velvet so I thought I might as well just get like stock up on my NCT stuff stock up I mean like catch up I guess oh my gosh there's so much here oh my god let me take everything out first oh my god this one oh my god this was such a good find okay but let me take everything out so there's mainly gummy stuff here but there is some Jamin stuff as well each tab is like a different seller so like it has my name on it then you must have taken it out of the packages. Let me open all this up and then I can talk about a few things. I can't believe I have this. Oh my god. I'm going to open up everything first and then go through it with you guys just because I think it saves a lot more time and we know I can take my time with talking. Okay, so we have everything here. This is tiny. Oh my god, I thought this was going to be so much bigger. Okay, so I would say the most expensive item out of all of these was this. Just because it was the DVD set that came with Jungwoo's photo card. So let's go through all this. I guess I'll go through my Jamin stuff. I only have two of his things. So I have one of his pre-orders. I don't know exactly what pre-orders this is, but it's one of, I think it might be. Okay, so this is his 11th Street Summer Vacation because it is the one 
with the glitter. I don't know if you can see any of that. Oh my god. The little shiny stuff. It's really subtle. Like I, I did not think it'd be that subtle, but that's the only photo card for Jamin I have. And then I have this, which was quite expensive compared to like all the other items, but since I think this is going to be definitely, it's going to be quite rare and I did, um, I was able to find it and I thought since I had the chance we have it. This is like the Japanese special like postcard, I think these were random and that's kind of similar to this. Um, so yeah, I just showed both of them. Um, they're the same size, which is so cool because I thought these were going to be a lot bigger, like postcard size. This is like smaller, maybe 4 by 6 I'd say these are quite rare, so I'm glad to have these. Yes, okay. So that was all Jamin stuff, but clearly not. Oh my god. So I managed to find this. I didn't actually think my ass would be able to. And I was surprised that I was able to cop it as well. I found his 4 by 6 and postcard sets. Um, just not his film strip and I think it was a good find finding his A4 since it is a bigger item and I think bigger items are harder to find in comparison to smaller ones. So I actually have his Empathy A4 now which is amazing. So I would say I'm nearly done with Empathy stuff. There's just a few things I'm missing but it's nice to see that I have another edition for Jamin's item which is his A4. So happy to have that. And I need to put that into my binder quickly, but that is all of Jamin's stuff. I'm gonna show you guys the bigger ones first. So I actually got his Awaken album and I literally do not have any like Japanese NCT albums. I do have the Jamin the Dream one now, but like I'm not too fussy with like when it comes to Japanese albums. But since this is his cover and it did come as a set with his photo card and pre-order postcard I think. It was nice to find as a set, even though I already have this card, I can sell it off, but um, I got his postcard with it, which is amazing. And his brown hair, I love the way his hair is styled in that. So here's the photo card, I apologise for the pen on my hand. So this will be up for sale since I already have it. But the album itself, I think this is quite cool. I think if you're gonna have packaging with your CD like this. I think having the plastic around it is much, like the plastic protection is preferred. So I like that, how there's extra protection for the CD. And as I say, like I'm not too fast with Japanese releases, but oh my God, Chain is just too good of a song. Like Wakey Wakey is good as well, but like nothing can beat Chain, like Tails High Note, oh my god, the rapping, oh my god, kind of slapped. Yeah, I do like that extra protection, oh my god. I don't know, I think there's like a limited group version of this, but it's member version photo book. And we have this as well, which is quite cool. So there's a subunit with Doyan and Jihan. So there's not a lot of pictures, but I think I like the size of this. It's quite extra, but I like it. So this is a Tower Records postcard, actually. The pre-order benefit was the Polaroid, which is here. This is so, so small. Oh my god. What the fuck? This is like this, like the height of a photo card with just more width to it. Because I thought it was going to be like the size of a normal Polaroid, kind of. This is so, so cute. Oh my god. And then the, po the photo card, which I think I've already shown. So, and then we'll go on to this, which is... I don't usually collect these, but since I was able to find this with the photo card, I was like, why not? Since I already have the Origin and Soul photo book slash like, DVD set. So, I thought I might as well. I just can't wait. Like, if SM gives this to Red Velvet, I will love... So, this is the Japan one, and... It should come with a new full card. <laughs> What's the cover in that? So we actually got a leaf strip, which is quite cool. I think these are magnets. Oh my god, he looks so good there. Yeah, but this is like a magnet set. It's quite thick. I'm not going to go through this all. But we can put through. Hopefully the full card is in the CDs. CDs. So you have a magnet. There we go. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, three CDs in this and a full card. Oh my gosh. I love the red on him and his hair. It's like a really good quality like, DVD case. Just because there's like multiple CDs in I guess. DVDs. And then his photo card, which... Oh wow. Oh 
so beautiful. So glad to have this as well. And next, all the photo cards. So I wanted to find the iPhone case one without like, it was on my, like I wanted to collect that but most of the time you get it with the phone case and this one didn't actually come with the phone case which was like, it was basically calling my name. So this was pretty cheap. It was cheap because it said they said it was bent. In the picture it's shown but I'm guessing with it being put into the top loader it kind of flattened out which is why I don't mind photo cards if they're like bent because you can just bend them back into place if you're okay with that. I just don't like creases and kind of like where it's like coming off of the side but this one was completely fine and these go for like £20 maybe even like a lot more with the phone case. I got that as you could see for a thousand yen which is like £8-ish. I don't know the exact conversion rate and like the pounds dropped in value a lot more recently as well so so i was glad to have it get that and then next one we have his hello soul card which i think there's like a sticker version to this as well i'm not too sure i don't know where i'm going to put this into my binder but and then another superhuman item this is his superhuman keyring the yellow one and i did get it as a set with the keyring thing as you can see down the bottom but i'll show this first so I'm still looking, I still need to find some more of his superhuman stuff. I think I might have his, the exhibition keyring on the way. I think those, the black one and the exhibition one are both hollow. So it's just hopefully I can get that. Scared with maybe all the new stuff that's going to come out. I don't know, like I, I've been using my La Rouge one, but I do like the NCT Dream one just because of the colour. I do keep these, I think it's quite a good piece of merch. So this one, I found this on eBay for like $50 and I was like, hoping to find it on Neo Q and I did and this was really cheap. I found this for cheap and I was like I need to cop it. Oops. I need to cop it just because it's something that I could only find on eBay and if I found it on eBay it would just be expensive so this is his official fan club card. Um, the Japanese one I think so this is gorgeous he looks so good on it. So yeah that was everything I got in my Neo Q package. Y'all can see the next one after this which is also quite exciting since there's two more groups I got stuff for but this was mainly NCT stuff and yeah I'll see you guys in that clip. Really happy with the service I just would see the shipping quite slow with packing as well but I think it is worth it if you guys don't mind waiting. Yeah I'll talk about more about my experience at the end of the next clip so I'll see you guys in that one. Bye. Okay hello welcome to the second part. It's funny because I'm actually recording this bit first but y'all know that anyway since I've already explained it but the trouble we had to get to get this thank goodness we do have it. This is the BTS and Eyes one cards hopefully that's just all that's in here. I'm excited to see what's inside and how they've like packaged it. Technically this is like my first package opening but not ordering if that makes sense. Okay they're all at the bottom, okay. Oh my god, he's me! Oh my god, okay. So I can show you guys what ones I got as sets. Some of them are in top loaders, some aren't. This is exciting, oh my god. So the ones that have these little bits of paper, I'm guessing, are just the individual orders. Let me open these up individually. Ooh, okay. So, we have a lot of stuff here. Didn't buy these individually, as I said, I wanted to try and find some of these as sets. There was good ones for Eyes one because these cards are quite cheap, so I guess people would want to sell them as sets to get rid of the, more of the card, or just to sell them off easier. And the BTS ones, I know, for the BTS ones, I know I did say I wasn't going to start collecting these just because of the prices, but I did manage to find some for good and decent prices. And that's why we are here. This is like a weird texture. I don't know if it's like a different print or something, but it, it is official because there is specs on it. So we have Yungi's version one for Persona. This one just says Map of the Soul. This one says Map of the Soul 7. But this has the little the little specs are there. So I'm gonna go get one of the Map of the Soul Persona cards just to compare. So these are quite grainy as they are, so I'm just guessing that's what his looks like. But this is the comparison and yeah, Germans have the specs in the exact same place, so it is official. We don't have to worry about anything. So we have Yungi's version 1, and I think, I think I still need Jin and Namjoon's for this. And then here are all the Namjoon cards I have. So, so precious. Oh my god. I don't know what was my favourite of his, but here's J-Hopes. So... These cards are so so pretty, like, despite the prices, oops, 
like I just don't think the prices can justify like the, like just that being BTS because there's so many BTS albums being printed and like bought just doesn't doesn't seem right like I can understand if it was like a limited amount of albums but literally there's nothing special about these cards just they're that they're BTS and then lastly we have Yankees. So it's good that I have a few added to that collection just because I know I wasn't gonna like collect it as quickly. I've not even finished like Persona yet but just to add some cards to this and have some of my bias member cards as well. Since I didn't pull any Namjoon or Yoongi, sadly. <laughs> Let's go on to Eyes one now. So I have an extra postcard of Umbi's. I think this- okay so this is our, her I was version. I have a duplicate of that so this will be up for trade. Uh, since I was getting these as sets, I think I'm just going to be trading. I'm just I'm like I decided I'm going to be collecting these postcard things. So um, just because I found these as sets, and then this is the I I will version, and her I am version is the one I need. So I just need one of these for each member. I think I can't remember if I have all of Chi ones, but I since I already pulled one of each me postcard things I, I have another one of hers so I have like two or three for each member I think we have her I will version so pretty they're just really awkwardly sized and then for all the cards gosh there's a lot here there's some duplicates so I'm gonna try and go through these and show you the duplicates first as I said since I did get these as a set like it was inevitable that I was gonna get some duplicates but I got the sets for certain cards so the MB set I found did have a lot and then I found like a separate MB set for one of her AR cards I think and that's what came with this so that's how I got the duplicate but and some of the cards aren't the ones I'm collecting so these, those are being traded off unless I want to try and collect them all but for just now my collection plans for in being hate me, for in being hate me are definitely just certain cards per set so we'll go through the mini ones first and this mini card is the one I did pull in the album so this is I think this is already up in um, pending trades just because I did message someone who is collecting MB and I did say I have duplicates coming in and then for this hate me card this is her I am mini so cute so this one didn't come with the envelope but we'd get the envelope for mb's i was version i don't think i'm going to be able to fit everything in here i have a total of four hit me cards these are so precious oh my gosh so i think the majority of these are the ones i'm actually collecting for her which is ideal okay so we have her ar card for i was so cute and i recently got her ar card for i will so we just need one more for her and then this is her I was normal card. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. And then we have the I am card. I think these ones are the, not the ones I was planning on collecting. But I can revisit the cards that I want to collect for it. Just because I'm collecting for... Like it's a bit messy just because I have some scored out and some like... On the like got the little envelopes to signify to suggest that they're on the way so i basically chose two cards from each version and then with the ar card and now with the postcard and mini card but for i will i did choose three of the four cards and then i i thought of it as the best way for me to lay these out so that's currently how we're going around doing this so next is all the mb cards um i do have quite a lot from her i will version i think we have one duplicate of hers who are the cards i have for her i'm so excited because there's so many <laughs> so this is the same ar card as hitomi's so this is the i was version Ooh, wow. and then this is her ar card for i will which looks really like really bad quality like on this but i know it might look a bit different on the phone but i'm gonna see the difference like this heat me one doesn't look as bad quality yes we have this one so i'm so glad i was able to find a set with this card because i think the ar cards are just gonna get like a little bit harder i think the mini cards would be okay the, the ar cards may get a little bit harder with it being first press and then these are all of the cards for I will this one I'm collecting this one and then this one's a duplicate since I already have this one and then we have the exact same for her I was card which is the one I wanted to 
a leg, but I do have a duplicate of that. <laughs> of course. Let's put them there. And then last card for MV is one of her I Was versions, which is not the one I wanted to collect. Uh, since she's doing like a piece saying them, loads of them, I wanted to choose the one where she's done like, I don't know, the little waving thing on her cheek, like poking her cheek while waving. I don't have any of her I Am cards, so that's why I'm hoping to trade with any of the duplicates I do have here. I'm so happy with everything I did find. I did like Neo Q. I guess I'll do like a little sum up and just because I don't want to repeat myself so I'm going to try and see everything I want to for the ending part. Neo Q is pretty easy to use. I wouldn't blame them on the shipping. I guess the start process for the shipping was quite slow but the actual process of it getting towards me I can't blame anybody just now just because I think with the virus going around and like maybe the parcel force being like quite cautious with that. So I don't understand that, it was just annoying that Parcel 4s didn't tell me that it was with my neighbour, it said it was delivered but I didn't have the package myself. Neoku, I don't really think I had a problem with it, like navigating the website, pretty easy. I don't really use it for anything else other than Macari and I do think Macari is a good thing. I guess for buying things as sets, since you can't get them for cheap, I wouldn't buy like album photo cards separately from Macari just because it could seem cheap with the the listing price on the website but then the fees add up and then the shipping adds to that so I would I would recommend if you want to buy something from Macari to save up and make sure you have a lot of stuff because it does work out a lot more and I think it's more beneficial in that way even though it might be a lot of fees adding up the pay the fees for Neokio are really decent compared to other companies and to me I would rather pay shipping I would pay like a decent amount of shipping for multiple things rather than like, really expensive shipping for one item so that's how I kind of see things especially with the just in general that's my rule like I don't want to buy something if it has if it doesn't have free shipping on it and if it does combine shipping I will like I will see what there is and if I'm in search of something I will add that to my cart if not I won't buy that item and I'll wait till I find it somewhere else. So I was kind of glad in a way I was able to find some sets for these photo cards and them not being so overpriced. With this I got all the BTS cards as sets so I would, I think these were around like $12 each for the set which I think $12 to $14 or something which I see these ones, the Mapsule 7 cards currently go for higher than that for one card so that's why I was like oh I'm hopping on that I'm getting it. So just keep in mind the fees do add up but with the fees Neo Q have I do think it's worth it especially compared to like other proxy sites. I do want to try out loads of other ones because I have found quite a few but this is my technically yeah because I would say I bought from like the same time but like this is my first experience with them and I do recommend them I really do think that people could benefit off of using this website. So I do think it's really helpful the website. One thing I would just complain about is the shipping process or the, like how fast that is because seeing how long it took to even arrive to the UK because I got I did buy the shipping for like um like the fastest shipping option just because I wanted to film it for a video and of course like everything else happened. I think it was two to five weekdays for the shipping and it was well past the, the time frame it was suggested the package would arrive to me but I, as I said I would probably try um, and buy like that I would tr probably try again and not use a like not have that as like a staple of how they ship just because of everything that's happening in Widowed and I can understand the delays I just was kind of annoyed with that just because I did um, pay for shipping before it kind of got worse over here so I can't really complain too much because I am really happy with everything and just keep in mind along with the fees there's PayPal fees and the, there's like packaging fees and stuff I would say they're not too extreme but just keeping that in mind because I don't want to say that it is cheap I think it is beneficial I think it is worth it if you want to find Raider cards because they are available to find with this I probably mentioned this before but you can only change the value of the package to a certain amount I think it was like 75% capped so like you couldn't like say if it was like a hundred pound you could only state it state that it was 75 pound I think there was some sort of cap on how much value you could change in it so that's how I got the custom fees for the first package this one wasn't too much so I, I was still able to change it and get it underneath like the value customs usually price that which I think is like around £35. I can't remember exactly what it is for the UK but if it's a gift I think if it's under £35. If I'm wrong please correct me. I am just so happy I have all these cards and I can't wait to put them away so 
yeah i hope you guys like this kind of video and do let me know any other proxy sites i should try out because i have been i really did like my experience with them and i'm kind of glad that i did find them and i was able to because you guys got something from this and enjoyed me unboxing all of these lovely cards and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching this one and stay safe and have a good day bye